Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave, and today we're going to be taking a look at how Lisandro Martinez has improved Manchester United. But before we do that, I want to tell you guys we're now streaming over on the Clips channel, previewing the Premier League's weekend action every Friday and reviewing the weekend's action on Monday. So check it out, and if you're interested, make sure you go over and subscribe. But anyway, let's get this party started. Under Eric Ten Hag, Manchester United are heading in the right direction. And whilst a lot of that is down to the work on the training ground and the playing structure set out by the manager, Lisandro Martinez has been central to a lot of good things that are happening on the pitch. The Argentine international has arguably been the standout centre-back in the Premier League this season and has been crucial to every aspect of United's play. Defensively, he's been fantastic. His mobility, aggression and reading of the play gives United a real bite without the ball. When defending, Leisha is constantly scanning his surroundings, calculating what the opposition is most likely to do. If he gets it right, Martinez will immediately move towards the danger. If a player is setting themselves to shoot, he'll charge out and block the shot. Meanwhile, if it's a specific kind of cross, maybe looking from where the space is inside the box, he'll challenge for the ball, ensuring the forward doesn't get a free shot away. Unsurprisingly, Martinez ranks first amongst Manchester United players in the Premier League this season for most clearances and most shots blocked. However, for a player that plays with real aggression, Martinez is extremely calm. When he's defending the box, he rarely makes clumsy challenges. Instead, he blocks the route to goal whilst hustling the ball in an urgent but controlled manner. What's more is that Martinez doesn't just read the game well, but he'll try and force his opponent's hand. We saw this around the 24th minute in United's 3-1 win over Arsenal. When Martinez tackled Odegaard in the box, the ball broke loose. With Saka favourite to reach the ball, but going away from goal, Martinez motioned to make a crunching tackle, which prompted Saka to fall to the ground, expecting the contact. But instead of committing to the tackle, Martinez pulled out, recovered the ball and removed the danger, leaving Saka looking very silly on the floor. His mobility also provides big improvements over Harry Maguire, with Lazandro Martinez more than happy to cover the wide areas. This gives United a far greater protection in the negative transition, as Martinez will pull wide, slow down the attacker, if not stop the attack, with a challenge. But his mobility also improves United's pressing game. When United commit bodies to the press, the opposition can create an out ball if a forward drops off the line or if a player moves up high into a progressive option. If this player is close to Martinez, the butcher will step out and make the challenge. Again, his aggression here is a real positive, as Martinez either commits a foul and stops the attack, or he wins the ball back for Manchester United. In fact, Lissandra Martinez in the Manchester United squad has made the most successful pressures in the Premier League this season, showing his ability to win the ball back in the press. United's press is something that's noticeably improved from the introduction of Casemiro. And in the Brazilians' four starts, Martinez has forced two high turnovers that have led to dangerous counter-attacks. In fact, United's best chance against Chelsea came from a Martinez turnover. After United squeezed Chelsea high, they had no easy out ball. Shalaba went wide to Aspilicueta, who went long for Sterling. Instead of backing off, Martinez aggressively won the ball back with a diving header, finding Bruno Fernandes. Bruno controlled and slipped Anthony through but the winger shot wide with his weaker right foot. Without Martinez's combination of aggression and composure, United don't create this big chance to score. What's more is that Lisandro Martinez has proven himself not to be an aerial liability. We said when he signed that he was an intelligent defender and uses his body in aerial duels and doesn't expose himself or the team. And that's exactly what we've seen. However, when he does challenge, he's coming out on top 67% of the time. To give that context, that's more than Christian Romero, Manuel Akanji, Gabriel, Joe Gomez and Wesley Fofana, all centre-back rivals in the top six clubs. But the big thing that Leisha has improved for Manchester United is their possession game totally composed on the balls at his feet. Martinez makes others around him more confident. He also creates more space for his teammates by drawing the opposition players in before accurately shifting the ball. Being a left-footed left centre-back also creates easier passing angles for progressive passes. Meanwhile, it makes it easier for right-footed players to receive. The natural arc of a left-footed pass will go to the receiver's right foot when they've got their back to goal, which is often the case when receiving progressive passes 
in advanced areas. This means if the receiver is right-footed, they're able to confidently act from their first touch, whilst defenders will have to go through their body to get the ball. All combined, this makes ball progression smoother and a lot easier, and Leisha helps the likes of Rashford, Sancho and Bruno on the ball. Against Chelsea, Martinez constantly found players in between the lines in the left half space, notably in the first half. In fact, he played nine line-breaking passes in this game, with six coming in that first period. So far, Lisandro Martinez of Manchester United is holding back in possession. At Ajax, he frequently played direct or creative passes, but unlike Ajax, Manchester United aren't completely dominating possession, so Martinez is playing more cautiously. However, this has worked really well. If he was completely responsible for the build-up, opposition teams would simply mark him out of the game and wait for United's less confident ball players to make mistakes. This was a common theme last season, with Norwich, Leicester City and Aston Villa the only teams to give up more shots following defensive actions in the period than Manchester United. However, Eric Ten Hag's structure and system has helped to improve this, but Martinez has been crucial too. In a normal build-up, Leisha is quick to play, which helps increase United's tempo. Like we mentioned before, his passing isn't as constantly progressive as it was at Ajax, but that's not to say that he doesn't play forward. Martial's goal against Ammonia Nicosia only came thanks to a quick Martinez pass. With Rashford in possession, Ammonia overload United's left flank with defenders, forcing them to go back. Eriksen then goes back to Martinez, but instead of dawdling on the ball or continuing to switch the point of attack, Martinez fires a pass through to Rashford in a dangerous position in between Ammonia's lines. Rashford flicks it to Martial, who cuts in and buries the ball into the bottom corner. Whilst this was a great individual play from the forwards without Leisha's pass, Martial and Rashford can't exploit a 2v1 on the Ammonia defender. But perhaps the biggest improvement that Martinez has brought to Manchester United has been in mentality. A born winner, Martinez has raised the standards by wanting to win every tackle, battle and match he's been part in. And this has been rubbing off on his teammates. After big defensive actions around United's box, Defenders are praising each other and supporting. This togetherness couldn't be further from what we saw last season when United were struggling. What's more is that he is a massive house. He's always looking to get in the head of his opponent. Often we're seeing him putting in a crunching tackle on the star player the first time they interact. This generally sparks a reaction, but Leisha doesn't react with the infuriated player. The best example of this came against Mason Mount. With Martinez shoving him with one hand, Martinez got a reaction. Shaw then stepped in and restrained the Chelsea star. And this hasn't been his first victim in a United shirt. Mohamed Salah, Gabriel Jesus, Callum Wilson have all been riled up by Martinez. In in fact, this trio, along with Mount, managed only just one shot on target in the four matches against Leandro Martinez this season. Leisha has already added so much to Manchester United in a short space of time that he can only improve. The Argentine international is still just 24 years old. And once Ten Hag's philosophy is fully understood by a genuine squad of possession-based players, we'll see even more from Leandro Martinez. But anyway, guys, what do you think? Have you been impressed with Leandro Martinez this season? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, check out the clip channel on Mondays and Fridays for the Premier League preview and review and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?